What's up guys, welcome to your 162nd Android tutorial for the new Boston. And now that we've defined both of our receiver, which is our actual widget, and the activity that's going to basically configure our widget, we can get into the design and the development of our widget. So just make sure you save the manifest, close that, and uh, we're still going to work with this, you know, this XML file, which is our app widget provider. But first, before we do that, we need to set up a layout of what we want within our widget. So again, we're just going to set up a new Android XML file. It's going to be a layout, and uh, I'll tell you which you, what you can add to the widgets. Uh, there's certain things you can add within there and certain things you can't. But we'll get to that in a second. And what we're going to do is we're going to just call this widget. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Widget.xml. Hit finish. And we also want to set up a layout for a configure class. So we're also going to say a new XML file as well. Call this widget uh, config.xml. Again, a layout and finish. So first, let's develop our configure uh, XML file. All we're going to have is an edit text and a button. So text fields, drop in an edit text and also drop in a button. I like this new version of the ADT where you can just size it like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to switch over and just make sure we have our references the same. So we're just going to have our button be widget, button widget uh, config. And we're going to have our edit text also just be ET uh, widget config. There we go, we have our layout for a widget uh, configure class set up, and we also need to set up our actual widget. So this is the widget XML file. All we're going to have is one te text view, um, a button, and another text view. So again, nothing too complicated. Just make sure we have our, we have our uh, references set the same, so we're going to call this one TV. Uh, config input and we're also going to have our button just be widget button widget uh, open because this one's going to open an activity and for our third text view we're going to say TV widget update so there we go we basically have our widget configured and this is what's going to appear when we add this widget to the home screen of the person's phone so it's pretty simple uh, again, it's pretty pointless, I should say, and uh, we have that set up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to this widget stuff XML. So within this file, we set up the configuration already of what activity we want it to open when we add it to the home screen. But we also need to set up how you know how big we want the widget to be, and how often we want it to update, and also the initial layout. So first, we're just going to do our initial layout that we set up. So we're just going to go uh, browse, and then it's under layouts and we called that one one widget so we're just gonna hit widget at layout widget and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the width and the height and there's certain guidelines uh, for for the width and the height so we're gonna jump over to the developer page um, which I'm sure you can just google widget design guidelines and it'll pop this page up otherwise you can pause the video and go to this website if you want to type it in and uh, you know this gives us this gives us a little bit more information about the guidelines of how to set up a widget. And all we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to where it says standard widget sizes. So like we can see like the 320 by 100. There's going to be a uh, length of pretty much four of those that you can fit on the screen, and you know different sizes that you can use. There's guidelines, and I believe there's some kind of formula. I don't know if it's on this page or not, but there's a formula to figure out if you want a different size in this, how you do that. So you guys might want to look on this page to figure that out, but we're just going to follow this guideline of 320 by 100. So again, we're just going to jump into Eclipse, and for our width, we want to say 300 or 320 by 100. And this is DP for both. And then lastly, we want to tell our widget how often to update. And the minimum value that we can tell it to update is every half an hour. Because, you know, every time we call that update through the broadcast receiver, 
um, it's going to use battery power and it's going to you know kill the person's phone real quickly so they want to keep it to a restriction of 30 minutes when you call that update so just keep that in mind we're actually going to do 30 minutes just so you guys can kind of see what it does after t over time if you guys you know put this widget on your phone then you can delete it because it's pretty much pointless and just waste your battery power but for 30, 30 minutes uh, we're going to say 100 and 80,000 seconds or milliseconds oh wait is that right no there we go so 1.8 million milliseconds is equal to 30 minutes I believe um, we can do more than that obviously if we want this widget to update daily or something like that but just for example we're gonna have it be 30 minutes and that's pretty much it we set up our, our widget provider and that's just gonna kinda again define the shape of our widget how often we want to update what the layout of the widget should be and you know if we have a configure you don't have to have a configuration activity but if you choose to you can set that up as well which we're gonna do just for example sake and that's pretty much it for this tutorial hopefully you understand a little bit more about the app widget provider and make sure you check out this page to kinda get a little bit better overview of some of the stuff that you can do um, when developing your widget and you know just how to design it well obviously the way we're designing it it's not that great but you can go into more detail there so I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial and hope you have a good one see you later